All right, guys, and welcome into this week's weekly stream highlights. Um, I hope you all enjoyed last week's highlights from the Bad Beat Jackpots, lads. Um, you know, as I said, it was an unbelievable experience to do it on stream, but not going to say we're back to normality, but we didn't spink one this week, put it that way. Um, I made the adjustment to zooming in on tables for you guys as well. I, made, I, I just made sure to disable all the hotkeys and stuff like that where I was having an issue prior. So... I did that for this week and it seemed to work a lot more efficiently. So let me know what you guys think about the slight edit in that regard in terms of zooming in on the tables. I think it looks a lot better since I made that adjustment. I know you guys were crying out for that. Not literally, of course, but there was obviously a couple of comments saying that they couldn't see shit. Um, so I made sure to make that adjustment and make it as efficiently or just make it as efficient for me when I am streaming that... Um, you know, I'm not losing focus or concentration in that time frame. So as I said, I've made that adjustment going forward. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, as always, guys, enjoy the stream highlights. And I hope you enjoy the adjustment I made as well. And I hope you had a good week and also having a good weekend as well. So as always, enjoy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. G to the G. Uh, Ace King obviously opening. Uh, first the block base, it's close, but I will peel one. I will peel one. And Ace King here, I'm just going to be ripping in this situation, I would say. Going to play Kings at a frequency in this 4 back jam as well, Queens as well. It's an easy fold there, lads. Don't like that the way that this guy's tanking here. I was kind of hoping he just fucking folds. We do get called here by this guy. He's got pocket tens. Need to an ace or a king, boys. We're going to lose this pot. And we don't. So we lose that one, unfortunately. Clip it. Uh, ace king here, three button. Forgot to zoom in there, but you guys can see it anyways. Hope this guy sits back in. Uh, so table two here, I'm going to go for a check. I'll probably go for a check raise, I would say. Nines here, I think we're just pure calling versus the blind. Queen 10 here, open. Right, we do flop a fucking set, boys. I do flop at the set. He starts with a half pot bet. We're obviously just calling. If he checks, I'm going to check back here, by the way. If he checks here, I will check back. But he does best. Again, we just have an easy call here, lads. Just have an easy, easy, easy call down hand. If I was him and I had King X, I would check every single King X on the river here. When there's two brick flush draws, by the way. Yeah, easy call. I mean, nice hand, I guess. Clip it. Clip it. Take it down, cool. Picking up the aces here on table three. Or four, excuse me. You get the four bet with the asses. All 
And we're just going to be flatten. We are just going to be flatten, my good man. Pretty, uh, pretty good board, I would say. Pretty good board. Good old half pop bet. Uh, I would say this is 90% of the time Jack's plus. 90% of the time Jack's plus. Might be some pocket tens. Might be. When I'm expecting to see Queen's plus here most of the time. FYI. Easy call. As expected, lads. As expected. Always, always going to be a strong range. No, I am not running it twice. You ping the two out or you ping the two out or sir. Nice hand. Clip it. As I said, it's always, always, always going to be a strong range, boys. Nine times out of ten. Clip it. As I said. Ten nine here we're going to call. Sorry about this guy again. We're just going to check call as well on this board texture. Here we're going for a call 4 bet. Let's call here. Start with a small bet here against his profile. And I'm just going to check rip this. I'm just going to get this in here, lads, on table 6. Just gonna get it in here when he check raises. Oh man, why didn't that just go all in? Well, he just goes all in anyways. He's got queen nine, lads. He wants to run it once. See, can we hold this one, lads? See, can we... Ha see, can it happen again? Oh my god, it happened again, lads. <laughs> Was that like the sixth or seventh time it's happened already? Clip it. Jesus Christ, this is horrendous run bad. Fucking horrendous run bad. We'll pick up Jax in a splash pot. Alright, well, fuck it up, lads. Let's try not to lose another stack here. As it basically starts to gaslight you, I know. Um, yeah, obviously, just getting Jax in here. Let's see what happens here. Got ace nine. He wants to run it once. Flops a flush draw. Hits the nine. A lot of outs, lads. And gets it on the river again. Cool. Clip it. It's another uh, two hundred dollars down the drain, lads. Uh, sevens here. I'm just going to check behind. Defend this here. Sorry about that there. And fold versus three quarters. This is an easy fold. Uh, so table four here. We're going to start with a bet. In this situation. Probably stay betting on this turn as well. I mean, it's actually close between one or the other. I think I will bet again. Not having a diamond in my hand. Let me just jam all in here, boys. He still has some pocket 8s, pocket 9s. Obviously, he's not going to fold any 7x here or some full houses that he has, but I'm not targeting that. Just trying to target here like jacks, maybe some like ace, ten of diamonds or whatever the case may be. They got called. Just has 9 8 suited, lads. As you do. Clip it. Can't do much about that again, lads. This has to be a spade on the river for me to bluff. Old versus the overbets.
We got snap called by this guy here. Just gonna start with a bet here. Eights, we're going to call. Open this as well. Uh, this is just gonna be a bet, 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 lads. Is what this is going to be. Uh, we still jam on that river. If you got 10 8 or 10 9 or something like that, then kudos to him. We block a bunch of like King Queen as well, so we do not want to check this on the river, but yeah, easy jam. He's got Queen Jack, there you go. Clippers. All right. Stacks are coming back, boys. Stacks are coming back. Interesting. Let me look at these lobby again. Here we're obviously three betting the jacks against a higher V pit player. Nice. This guy goes for a half pop bet here. Like this guy is extremely, extremely tight, lad. So I'm gonna exploit fold that there. Here we're gonna start with a bet. It's like nine big blind scenes, okay. We get check released here. We're gonna peel one in position and see what's ha see what happens on the turn. We're getting check raised in these positions, lads, is not great by any means. I really don't know here. I think we have to call one more. But this is like again so so fucking close, even on the turn, lads. I mean now we just don't fold. Now we just don't fall. I mean, such a fucking stupid fucking river, lads. Seriously. <sighs> such a fucking stupid river. Clip it. Alright, we do win a mystery bounty thing or whatever it is for 80 bucks. Uh, obviously, three button here. Played a session earlier on, Swivel, and I got destroyed as well. So I'm down three or four stacks already today. Down another three or four buy-ins in e or two or three buy-ins in EV as well, let's uh on top of that. I say this table's gonna get up and run here, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna start with a very, very small bet here on the flop, I would say. Actually, I might check this back on a high roll. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna check this back on the turn here on table five. Yeah, yesterday was a nasty one for sure. Yesterday was a nasty one for sure. I was gonna bet half pot on the river here. what we are going to do. Uh, I'm not going to fold this, lads, I don't think. I think this line is meant to be very, very under or sorry, over bluffed in this situation. He did check jam pretty quickly, but I don't think I'm going to be folding here. GLGL Allen. But not a great spot, obviously. But I will call. He's got queens. Just turns queens into a bluff, lads. As you do. Easy, easy call for me. Like, why the fuck would you turn queens into a fucking bluff, man? Clip it. Brain dead. Absolutely brain dead. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, so this table here, lads, on an outer table. We three bet the 4-2 or 4-6. We're going to bet here again on the turn. And probably I will jam on the river as well. Hi, Alan. How are you, Ravana? I've met it. I mean, we probably have a value jam here now, lads. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> probably actually do. I've made uh, 38 by instance to review my gameplay. Climbing the next level to NL50 and I'll keep my roll at 5k. Nice. Yeah, as I said, I think we have a value jam here, lads. With the 6-4. Uh, 
I think we have a value jam here with 6-4. If he's bluff catching like ace king, ace queen, eight, well, not he's, he's not going to have ace king here, but it's like if he has like ace jack and stuff like that, he might have eights and nines here sometimes, but that should probably four bet a lot of the time. Not so much eights, but yeah. But yeah, this might be a bit on the tender side, but I think it's okay. And you can call by ace 10. Perfect. How fucking sick was that goddamn hand? How fucking sick was that goddamn hand? Value jam on the six on the river. Clip it. Ace Jack here opening. Ace nine here defending. A uh, small three bet here. We're just going to be calling with the unbelievable price we're getting. We flop a double gutter. Uh, King five here. Just going to be calling. The ace jack here in these formations, I am going to be calling as well. I think this 10 9 is close, but I will peel, is what I'll do. Ace 9 here, just going to check behind. We do flop top pair, top two pair. On table six. I'm definitely going to go for a check raise in this situation. I'm trying to think if I want to go for a double check raise here, and I actually don't mind it. Although there's still a bunch of flop floats and draws and all that stuff in his range here. But I guess I just stay betting. See what he does. Alright, we got jammed on here. Easy call. Got ace king. That's good. No king, please, Mr. Dealer. Uh, I'm not running the twice, but I'm 93% favor, sorry. Alright, we do hold this time, thankfully. Flip it. King Queen here, I'm gonna squeeze this time. So I will. Uh, call here with the Jack Nine. We do get called by this guy here on table four. Just gonna start with a small bet. I'm going to start with a small bet. We get called. So I'm gonna go for another bet here on the turn. We're small on table four. Jam all in now on the river lads. I'm not I do not want to bluff a fish here by any means, but there probably isn't gonna be many better combos for me to bet 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 this hand here, in fairness. In my honest opinion. In my honest opinion. We do get the fold though. Nice. Clip it. Clip it. Uh table one here. We check raise the flop. I'm gonna go for a check on the turn. We just check jam now. We just check jam this hand against the fish on this double flush straw board. So as I said, we check raise the flop, check the turn, check jam. And get the fold. Get the fold. Nice to be nice, lads, eh? Nice to be nice. Oh, we're actually not going to get off the table because uh, a recreation just sat down. We'll keep that on the outer table anyways. So we will. I mean, two's here with a whale behind here. I definitely want to flick in a call. And I know for a fact that Nightwish is over calling the button for that reason as well. So I'm definitely calling two's here. 
But I do not expect this guy to fold in this situation. We do flop bottom set, but it's this extremely, extremely dynamic uh, texture multi-way. But for the most part, I will definitely not be over-investing. I'm probably playing relatively passive overall. The fact that this guy is betting into three other players on a monotone board, lads, so you can be guaranteed that this is not a fucking weak range. Guaranteed. But obviously we have to call. Well, now this is going to get a little bit fucked. Let's see. Look at him in Byron Met, how art Like, he could definitely still have flushes here. He can have ace three suitors, but... Kind of one of those things on this board, man. You really shouldn't be betting two pairs. So I'm assuming that this either is like ace three or pocket aces or just flushes. Or some potential four or five. He does check back, which is interesting. I think we just bet like 60, 70% here. Itself. I swear to God, man, if this guy jams. Cry me a fucking river is all I'd say. Cry me a fucking river if this guy jams. Because he can definitely, definitely have aces here. And if he has a flush, he's just going to call. Man, I swear to fucking God, this is aces. I swear to fucking God. I mean, I'm not going to fall versus this race size, and I don't think... But you know, I just expect to lose here most of the time, to be fair. Oh my god, he actually has king four diamonds. I'm very, very surprised that he raised that river. Very, very surprised. He probably thinks when I bet that size and that I don't have, uh... I don't have full houses in my range. But, uh, clearly I do sometimes. Clip it. Surprised to see that. Surprised to see that. But like, as I said, when he bet the flop, lads, what did I say? Never gonna be a fucking weak range. Never, ever, ever. Very nice tune. <laughs> this guy is funny. <laughs> Always nice to uh, interact with the fish, lads, no? <laughs> bring it. <laughs> you bring it, motherfucker! <laughs> Alright, fuck off, man. I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, we're just going to... This guy limped raised here now, so this is the second time he's done this, so I will peel the ace-10 in this situation. I think this ace-10 here, though, I will just open rip against the 13 big blind stack. Not worry too much about it. Alright, we do flop a flush draw here, lads. This might get a little bit dicey. Um, I think I just run this here. I think I just run this in this situation. I think Colin is fine, but if this guy just has an air ball, I want to deny some equity. And even if I, if he has like queens or jacks or something like that, I'm not in the worst shape for, for what it's worth. So I'm happy enough just to get this in here, lads, so I could look us. He's got ace, ace off suit, lads. Now, if I get sucked out on here, this is going to be very fucking unfortunate. Yeah, but I'll tell you that much. You can fucking chop here now as well, which is even sicker. How the fuck does he have ace-eight, lads? Seriously. Alright, we do hold. Nice. Clip it. What an absolute genus. What an awful, awful man. 